Good evening and welcome to Shano News, your positive source in a crazy world. I'm your host, Jamie Lee. Tonight we gather at the Shano Memorial Park at the Softball A Diamond to officially dedicate and rename the field the Jerry Wisnick Field. <laughs> On behalf of my Aunt Diane, cousins Amber, Wade, and Eric, and the extended Wisnick family, thank you for coming here tonight to honor a great man who made a big difference in our small town. This is really special. I'm sitting here with my dad, Chuck Rash, who is also a well-known ball player in these parts. But most importantly, he was a teammate and brother-in-law to Jerry Wisnick. So a perfect person to interview today. I have his old Hawkeye softball jacket on. So tell me, when did you meet Jerry? Well, Jerry and I and our families, we got together when we were about six years old. Um, met at the ballpark, of course, watching Jerry's dad play baseball when we were little guys. And we would chase fall balls and play, tin, play baseball with tin cans and sticks. And we grew up together playing against each other in Little League. But then when we got to high school, we played together. Legion ball, we played together. Uh, Shauna Lakers played together. And... Hawkeye softball we played together so probably 55 years wow very very lucky like lots and lots of guys that got to know Jerry early and got to spend time with him on and off the ball diamond and it started also both of your dads were legendary ball players we have Orvrash and Marv Wisnick. Mm -hmm. And as you said, you grew up together. And then on the Lakers, you were the king of Sting, and then Jerry's nickname was Gentleman Jerry. So you guys had fun with that. A lot of good times afterwards with the beer and um, just, I'm sure, great days of the glory days. Yeah, we had, we had fun on and off the ball diamond. <laughs> I think that's as much as I'll say about that. And again, how special that you were able to become his brother-in-law. Yeah, that just that just worked out. I mean, we would have we would have somehow stayed together, but now it's that much more special because it's family, family, not just baseball, softball family. Right. And so now that we remember him tonight on a ball field that you guys played together for a long time, what does this mean to you? How special is this tonight that we're naming the field after him? It's 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 an honor. It's a well deserved honor. Um, we. <laughs> We, we, all, we all wish Jerry could be here with us, in which case I guess we wouldn't be here, but it would obviously be nice if he could be here and we miss him and again lots and lots and lots of friends. He, uh, he touched a lot of lives. He was a little league coach for years and he umpired little league and softball and he was instrumental in a lot of lives of a lot of kids here in Shawano. So naming the field after him is, is, is is a great honor and, and it's well deserved. And you and I talk about this a lot. Something you'll always remember besides the sports and the trophies and the accolades is that Jerry was kind. Jerry was a nice guy, period. A he, nice guy. Lot of our, a lot of our friends call him the mayor because he knew everybody. And I do not believe there was one person on this planet who, would, who doesn't like Jerry <laughs> and would say a bad thing about him. He was always around to help and again, very well deserved tonight. Well, thank you, Chuck, for sharing your heart and I love you so much. Thanks, honey. <laughs> yeah, about the Eric! Yes! Hey! I'm here with the... I'm here with the Wisnick boys, Eric and Wade. They are playing tonight in honor of their dad. Um, tell me, what does this night mean to you? Hey, I flew back for Arizona. I was never gonna miss this in a, in a, min in a minute. So, uh, so glad you're back. Yes, this yeah, is great. so much. Seeing him out there all the time, it's gonna Let's be hard, was. but this is where he was. Yeah, it means everything to us. Yep. Well, I know how proud he was of you boys um, on and off the field, so have a good night. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna. Welcome, everyone. So listen, this is a great honor for the city of Shawano to be able to do this, and uh, it's a great honor for me personally to be able to do this. So. This is what uh, the city council passed 
earlier this year to dedicate this field to Jerry. And this, uh, I just want to read the resolution. Whereas people who go above and beyond to positively impact the community in which they live deserve to be honored and memorialized in ways that reflect their commitment and passion. And whereas Jerry Wisnick touched so many lives through his passion for youth and adult sports, serving in some capacity as coach, mentor, and facilitator his entire adult life. And whereas it is estimated that Jerry had personal touch on over 3,000 adult softball games, and additional involvement in school sports, youth sports, and basketball games. And whereas <clears throat> the vast majority of these games occurred at what today is known as a diamond at Memorial Park. Now, therefore, be it resolved that forevermore in honor and respect for Jerry's passion that a diamond will be renamed Jerry Wisnick Field and signage and memorial reflecting this change will be made with the guidance of his family and closest friends. And if everybody looks behind us back there, you'll see that we have already renamed it. May Jerry be an example to all of us utilizing our passions to create and effect positive change in the community from which we all call home. So be it further resolved that the mayor, city and city clerk and park and recreation director are hereby authorized to proceed with this procurement and installation of said memorial. Thank you. Check out this jacket, vintage Hawkeye softball team. I'm here with the man himself, Dale Hawkinson. Hi Dale, thanks for coming tonight and supporting the family. Um, I know that you were kind of the big sponsor back yep. in the heyday yep. of softball. Tell us more about your team, that you were the sponsor, but also um, a player? Oh yeah, um, we all pretty much graduated together, so it was uh, a team effort, you know, and uh, we just had a blast. We, we played for, I don't even know how many years, probably 20, 20 years or so we had a team. Went all over, pretty much all over the state and competed in the tournaments and stuff. And uh, with Jerry out there, it was uh, it was awesome. He always played shortstop for us, and um, boy, you know, he made so many plays that it was unbelievable. He very seldom would make an error. A lot of times, I saw him line drive would be hit to him when there'd be a player on first base. He'd intentionally drop it just so he could turn a double play. You know, he was just. He was a, you know, he was an accountant by trade, and his mind was always working on the field too. So he, he was an excellent player and a, and one of my best friends. Well, thank you so much for being here and sharing those memories. And let's have the legacy continue with Hawkeye softball and Jerry. All right, Thanks, thank Dale. you. I know the guys are playing ball, but there are plenty of wise Nick women who love Jerry as well. I am here with his wife of 40 years, Diane. They were high school sweethearts. And the love continues with all these wise Nick women. <laughs> I'm here with uh, Kenny Hebner. We're having a beer on Jerry. Right. You look like a legendary fella. Can you tell me about some of your times with Jerry back in the day? Um, it started when he used to beat us all the time here in league with his Hawkeye team. And then through the years, we got better and we started beating them. So it was back and forth a lot of times for championships years ago. But then I started a tournament team and he was the first guy I asked if he wanted to be on it. And he said, who are you gonna get? And I told him a bunch of guys and he said, heck yeah, I'm in. So a couple of his guys came and some other guys came and we traveled all over and played Marquette in the dome. We played all over state of Wisconsin, won tournaments, upset people. We didn't have uniforms back in the day. We played in shorts and, and t-shirts and we were beating teams that were full dress uniforms with coach buses, a bunch of little nobodies from Shano going there, win the tournament. And they weren't expecting that. But I, Jerry was phenomenal shortstop and no question, the best hitter I ever played with. Period. That's a big statement. It is. And I played with a lot of guys. That guy could get a clutch hit on any given time. If you needed a run to win the game, and there's a guy at third, he'd just get a base hit. He wouldn't even try for a home run in the swing. He'd just get the hit, get the run, and win the game. And wasn't his nickname on softball the Golden Boy? Well, I, I 
Sure. <laughs> Did you have a nickname? No. <laughs> Long hair. That's what it well, it sounded like you guys had a lot of fun, and yeah, I love, that I, still I has love to continue. Will. Let's let's have some fun for oh, Jerry. We will. Some beer and sun drop. Thanks, I'm so Kenny. Excited. So excited for that. It's gonna be an awesome night. It is. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Kenny. Hi everyone, it won't take long, but thank you for coming out. Uh, if you're local parks, uh, if you look around, this is what it's all about. It's about social gathering, it's about recreation, it's about having healthy passions and coming together as a community. And so this is just one way and one night in one park that Sean was able to celebrate. Parks are typically named, or fields are typically named in three ways. One, they're donated. So the family who donates the land, you know, wants to be named and honored. Two, they're sponsored, so i.e. someone puts up a large sum of money to have their name on it. And three, they're in honor of, they're in legacy. And although three, all three ways are extremely important, to me the one is, that's most impactful is the one of a legacy, because it means that someone did something amazing, someone did something great, something was a part of something that was bigger than who they were, and I think that those are all summarized, Jerry. Uh, you know, many of you, it's said that people come into your life for a season, a reason, or a lifetime, and all of you have one of those connections with Jerry in some way. The part that's amazing about a legacy is long after tonight ends, and we hope you stick around, um, Jerry's name will forever be up there. So your kids, your grandkids may be playing on this diamond, and it'll always be Wisenick Field. And someday someone might say, who is Jerry Wisenick? But that's okay, because then they'll find out, they'll learn, or they'll talk to an umpire that knew him. And so that's how the legacy of Jerry will live on, uh, specifically with youth sports here in Shawano. This didn't just happen overnight. Obviously, Jerry put in countless hours, so a few things to know, as the mayor said. Uh, he gave greatly to the city. He served on the Park and Rec Commission since 2000. Over 20 years of meetings and looking at budgets and, and dealing with hot topics and good topics. Jerry was the softball commissioner for this league that's playing tonight since 1987. That's a long time. I think I was in third grade. <laughs> It also doesn't happen without people who, who want to be a part and who want to honor him and to give. And so there are many people to thank, but a few that I know of. Uh, Tom Lowdy, friends and family, this was at their request. So they came forward and said, we want to make this happen for Jerry. Obviously the council acted and responded appropriately. There are many other folks that helped make the signage on the park happen. And some other things may happen in the park as well. There's talks about plaques and other ways to kind of tell Jerry's story. Uh, but these folks need to be acknowledged as well. So Tom and Judy Lowdy, Kevin and Joanne Ainsworth, Ron and Joanne Bartz, Dale and Lisa Hawkinson, Craig and Renee Hines, Randy and Kim Wisnick, Ron and Linda Rook, Roger and Pam Anderson all helped make tonight happen as well. So thank you for them. Please give them a round of applause. What a special day at the ballpark. I wanted to come back here to another one of Jerry's favorite things to do, and that was drive his party bus. As many of you remember, Jerry drove people around to parties and baseball games and concerts and bachelorette parties. And we used to call Jerry Jer Bear, and I kind of used to make fun of him. So a couple years ago, I had my other uncle, Ed, make this decal for Christmas called the Jer Bear Bus. And Jerry put it on, and from then on, we called it the Jer Bear Bus. In conclusion, on behalf of the entire Wisnick family, we are so grateful for the love and support that was shown to our family after Jerry's passing. A special thank you to Swedberg Funeral Home for helping out our family and for sponsoring this episode. This is Jamie Lee signing off for Shano News. Heroes get remembered, but legends never die. Lucy Wisnick throws out Grandpa's first pitch. Thank you so much and have a great evening.